everyone and today I'm gonna show you my makeup collection so yeah I'm gonna show you all the makeup that I own and I'm gonna show you in categories so I wanted to make a shorter uh, parts of the videos with just um, eyeshadow just lip products something like that and then I want to have a bigger video of all of the um, the whole collection in general so I hope you're excited for that and I hope to see you no, I just... Let's get to the makeup. So the first part that we're gonna start off with are lashes and mascara. And I have everything in front of me right now. And it's like... Much. It's really much. So first I have this duo eyelash glue, which I always use. It's actually, I think, a really nice one. And it's easy to take with you because it's in a tube. Then I have some separate lashes, which I cut it for underneath and some uh, bigger projects where I needed just some little extras up on there. Then I have another uh, eyelash glue. It's from Eyler. I actually almost never use this. I'm not really sure if it's actually dried up or not. Um, yeah, the duo one is better. Then I have these two sets of magnetic lashes, which I have to admit I have never tried before. So I'm probably going to do another video or another short very soon with trying out these products. But <laughs> because I'm actually like really, really curious about these ones. So these are two different ones. This one um, you can cut down as well. And this one is just a, a bigger lash, which I actually really like. Then I have this product right here. This is for underneath the lash and you can use it above the lash for when you're applying mascara on someone else or yourself and you like don't want it on your lid. It is a little bit hard to work with sometimes so you have to keep that in mind but it actually does work and it does have this little um, spoolie kind of thing like right here as well. I got these ones from Shein. I think I have four more because it was a set. Then I have this little cute container, which is actually a large container. So when you open it up, which I got from Shein again, and when oh, she moved, when you open it up, you can like take three pairs of lashes with you. So I have one I've used a lot. I have some half lashes here, and I have some lashes here with pink on the edge. Then I have two lash books. So let me see those. Lash books are from Morphe, but the lashes aren't. So this is the first lash book, as you can see. I just paired them, so this is one pair, that's one pair, that's one pair, as you can see. And then the other one looks like this. And yeah, because some of them move and I put them back because I'm not gonna throw it away like and I use it like one time, so that's why they move. Then I have some lashes. I think they, those are from Primark. I put it in this one. I have two pairs of lashes, so I put an extra pair in there. And this one looks like this. And I don't think I've actually used this one before. Then I have like a bunch of different lashes. I have two. I think those are from Primark again. Um, the 3D Fixin and the 3D Allure. They actually both look very, very pretty. I do really enjoy um, using lashes if you're making a bigger look. But today that wasn't really necessary because I kept it like pretty simple and cute. So then I have another pair of lashes from Boozy Shop, which I got one time when I shopped there for free. Those are actually really cute. I've never used them before. Then I have this product and if you've not similar with this product, it's actually from Ardell by the way. Um, oh, it does have some glue in it. I actually have to clean this. But um, you can use this when you're putting on fake lashes and then you like close it and then the um, lash... Um, how do you say that? Your normal lashes and the fake lashes, they're gonna zip together and then they actually look more realistic than, well, how realistic fake lashes can be. Then I have this whole, these ones, let me get them. Ooh, these ones, and these ones, 
and I have used a couple of them so um, yeah not all of them look the prettiest but those are actually like all of the fake lashes that I own so I'm quickly gonna insert a video of showing all of the lashes because there are some similar ones um, but I got them in a pack from a Shein video as well so if you want to see those kind of videos I do have that on my channel already so these lashes are actually all the same ones Then we're gonna go to the mascara. So I do have two lush curlers. I think I'm gonna try this purple one away. I do think it looks very, very beautiful, but it's not really working properly for me anymore. So I do have this gold one right here and this one actually works really nice and I always use this one. So I do have many mascaras. I do have some which I have never tried before. So these are all my new ones which I've never tried before. This is the Tarte Surfer Curl. The packaging looks really pretty. And then I have two of these Rimmel. And I noticed I put a sticker on them with new because I did use these ones like for a little while. Like this was my everyday mascara. So that's why it says new because I probably always bought them like one plus one or things like that. Then I have this one from Yves Rocher, which I have never used before, and it's a volume one. Then this one is still in the packaging, it says new on it again, and it's from Yves Rocher as well. And then we have the Lush Princess False Effect Mascara, and I do actually use the waterproof version a lot, but I have never tried this one. Uh, this is the normal version. Well... This is the false effect version, which is the normal version. And then I have the volume mascara, which is another one of the line as you can see, but this is not a waterproof as well. Then we're gonna go to mascaras that I have used not that much. So I have this Lush Revival Boosting Primer, which you can put underneath it. And I've used it, I think twice or something. So I probably should try it out a little bit more, see if I like it. Then I have the Makeup Studio 3D Lush Waterproof, which I have actually never tried before, or I've tried it once. Then I have this Essence Color Flash one. This is a actually purple one, and it looks exactly like what it looks like on the outside. And I have a MAC one, the 3D Black Lush Dimensions one. And I have tried this once or twice. I wasn't a very big fan of it. Maybe it's good for the bottom lashes. And then I have the waterproof mascara from Hema. And this is actually a blue one as well, as you can see. And then I do have three other mascaras. I do have this one from Kiko Milani, Milano. And it's the... Precious Ritual Volume and Lengthening Mascara and this is, actually, this is actually a very pretty one and I actually love to use this because it makes my lashes stay up which almost no, well, almost never happens with a not waterproof mascara and this one does that as well, this is the Zueva one it's the Infinite Potential Mascara it's a volume one and this is actually a mini that I got when I purchased um, their brush set. I have my everyday mascara. Well, I call it my everyday mascara because I always use this when I use mascara, but I don't really put on makeup every day. So this is the Waterproof Falsy Surreal Mascara from Maybelline. And I actually love this mascara and I do have it on my eyes right now. So I actually think it looks really, really pretty. And those were all of the lashes and the mascara. So we're gonna go to the next part.